Good morning, happy Wednesday. Yeah, it's Wednesday. Didn't film anything yesterday because like I said, I was at work. Yeah. Harry and I are just about to do a PE with Joe. It's not a live yeah. lesson. So We're just watching it on catch up. Um, because I was in bed and I've just done my own strength training exercises. So we're going to do it, aren't we? Yep. Wish us luck. Just finished my dinner. It was lovely. Obviously it was leftovers, the roast chicken from Sunday and the stuffing with some lettuce and mayo. It was really, really nice. Um, David and the kids had already had their lunch. I'd made them some, just some small pizzas and chips. The thing is when I'm at home, they expecting me to cook the dinner because they're working and I'm off. I've got the boys working at the minute. Oh, sorry. Sorry, excuse the washing. The boys are working over here. Harry's on a Teams lesson and David is just working over there. So that is our setup. Obviously, Emmy, Emmy? Emily is working upstairs um, at the minute with her lessons. I'm really impressed with the schools at the minute. I think they're doing a great job. Um, Emily's got really structured lessons and structured time. The only thing she's not doing is PE. And being my daughter, it really makes me upset because I, I do like my exercise. And I mean, I never used to. At her age, I certainly didn't used to like exercise. I was massively overweight and et cetera, which you've watched any of my vlogs before, you will know. Um, so I'm trying to encourage her to do some PE, do PE with Joe Wicks or go out on her bike. It's absolutely miserable out there today. It's not stopped raining since I woke up, which is making me feel a bit... I just wanted to go out and get some fresh air, and go for a walk, because obviously I'm still not running. Still not running, which is... Ugh. I don't know whether to just try and go for a run. I've been contacted 111 today to see if I could get seen again in um, like minor injuries, and they've said, no, go and see your pharmacist. Um, I know what the pharmacist is going to say, he's going to say rest, ice, elevation, ibuprofen, and I've done all that already. The other thing she said is maybe make an appointment with your GP. I tried to get in to see my GP today, but obviously not because that's obviously too short notice. So the GPs have said to me, phone back tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock, so hopefully I'll get an appointment with my GP tomorrow. I think it's because when I phone, my symptoms are never that bad. The, the, it just doesn't compute on a um, on their computer spread like when they do the analysis. Um, sometimes I get quite severe pain. Sometimes, but most of the time, it's just a very dull ache in my leg all the time. I can walk on it. I can weight bear. It's just not right though. So I'll see what the GP says tomorrow if I can get an appointment. I need to get some jobs done. I really, 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 really need to do some jobs. But all I want to do is watch vlogs. So. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, that reminds me, coughing. <coughs> I need to do my COVID swap. I'm gonna get some cleaning done. Clean down all the paintwork and do some hoovering once the boys have finished the calls. Um, and just go from there, really. Just watching The Despicable Three, um, watching them do their vlogs, which are great. Um, who was I watching this morning? I watched Cheers Ears, um, I watched Tinker Tales yesterday i've just been watching some great vlogs and catching up i suppose it's really lovely not being having loads of um, new vlogs out at the minute as in new trips because it's allowing me to catch up with loads of old trips enough waffle i really need to get on with the jobs house is slowly getting back to normal i'm just picking out a wax melt i don't have the biggest wax melt collection in the world and it's in a very sophisticated very beautiful looking tub a lot of them are sweet flavours. I think I need some more. One of my favourites is this one, Main Street Coffee. I absolutely love this wax melt. Um, there is lots of sweet ones. We've got Pandora, Banshee Flight, and we've also got this one, another Disney one here, which is Waters of the Caribbean. This one smells more like Pandora, I think. So that's the one I've gone for in there. And how cute is this wax melt burner thing? creates a heart on your wall. That's bad. Um, lots of other ones in there. For some reason, oh, I've got another one. A watermelon tiki room one. We seem to have a lot of sweet smelling ones. Oh, Main Street Bakery. I think I had a few more Disney ones than I thought I did. And then the kiwi and melon one. I think 
melon must be a favourite. So I do need some more. So if anyone's got any recommendations, drop a or comment down below. So what have you got in the post? Sorry, Harry's dressed as a skeleton right now, aren't you? Yes. What have you been given in the post? So Harry has got the RSPB Big Garden Bird Watch. So it's from the 29th to the 31st of January 2021. So you, what have you got? Um, it's just a booklet about the big bird watch, isn't it? And what's inside it? What will you see? Oh, it's got a guide to all the birds. So what have you been doing every day? Watching the birds. Yeah, so David bought Harry some bird seed and he literally feeds the birds every day. So he's been feeding the birds every day, but not just the birds, what else has been coming? Squirrels. So yeah, we're getting two squirrels, or what have we called them? Gus. And we haven't got a name for the other one. So fat Gus apparently. And we've got a couple of pigeons and robins yeah. and all sorts in the garden. Um, the pigeon's called Steve apparently. Yeah. Steve and Stephanie turn up quite a lot. Yeah. So if we have, um, when well, they'll be here tomorrow, and they will be because they are here every day because the amount of food the kids these lot leave them. A garden has just turned into a wildlife sanctuary. I will film some footage and pop it in. Um, well, I'll probably vlog it tomorrow if we see them again tomorrow, won't we? Yeah. We're going through that much bird seed. You don't even need to work for it. They just scatter it everywhere, don't you? Yep. So yeah, that looks fun, doesn't it? Yeah. So we'll have to do take part of the big garden bird watch event. So we just had dinner. Again, I didn't vlog it. I'm really bad at this weekly vlogging business. I will get better. I will try and endeavour to get better. I think because I have so much to do and I make so many different meals because the kids and David and I don't often eat the same food. I just get a little bit stressed out. <laughs> so that's what happened again. Um, the bacon got burned, had to recook the bacon. Well, they just got all a bit complicated. They didn't need to. What did we have? We had barbecue chicken um, with, we tried this new loaded it's supposed to be loaded fries, but it was like, like a southern fried seasoning. So but I didn't have any regular chips or anything or potatoes to cook. So I had some... Oh. The telly's just doing something random. Anyway, it's supposed to be on YouTube. Weird. So instead I had some new potatoes. So I chopped new potatoes in half, cooked them. Oh my God, what's it doing? <laughs> Anyway, I chopped up the new potatoes in half, cooked them in the oven with a little bit of oil on it and then put the southern fried seasoning on, grilled some bacon, put that on it and then some Montgomery but Jack cheese loaded new potato fries things. They were amazing with some salad. Harry had pasta, sort of tortellini filled pasta. So he really, really loves that. Um, so that's what we've just done and I'm just about to chill out and watch some YouTube. Um, just watched Tim Tracker and Jen Tracker at Epcot. It's Festival of the Arts. I didn't realise it was a festival when I was supposed to be in Florida right now. I'd love to go to Festival of the Arts. We don't often get a chance to go to any of them because they're not normally in the seasons that we go in. So that would have been amazing if we'd have got a chance to go there. But anyway, a lot of us have had trips cancelled and I'm not the only one. But I'm allowed to wallow in it just a little bit. Nobody else seems that bothered in this household. It's just me that seems bothered. But anyway. Good morning, guys. Happy Thursday. Yeah, it's Thursday today. It's now... Oh my God, massive flood. That's not the time. <laughs> so it's half past 10. I'm just heading out in the car. It is a miserable day, an absolutely awful day. I don't think it has stopped raining since yesterday. It's just awful. The plains are flooded, the fields flooded. It's just miserable. It's not really as nice as it was. Definitely not as nice as it was in the first lockdown. Lockdown number three, I think it has to be the worst. January is always a horrible time anyway. Weather's not great, people are really miserable going back into lockdown again. It's sorry, massive everywhere, massive splashes. We really can't keep people's mental health. 
hotel room right now. Um, we're suffering anyway, and then we've got this and on top of it, and it feels like at the minute there is no end in sight. So I can imagine that people are struggling and struggling a lot. Right, I have decided to go a different way because that way it looks completely flooded. Um, there's a car broken down and um, looks like her engine's up so I think she's been through the water and got absolutely drenched in the car and engine and looks like they've been flooded. So I am not going that way. That's how much it's been raining. I asked my weatherman, which is David, whether it's going to stop raining. Apparently it's not. It's going to be like this at least until tomorrow. Lots of places are getting snow. Manchester doesn't get snow very often. Uh, it just gets a lot of rain. Um, and I hope this way is really the way of the flood. <laughs> Another flood warning sign. Let's see how bad this way is. Just heading out to Costco. Yep, gonna go to Costco and get some bits. Ran out of washing powder last night. Ran out of a few other things. So I thought, go and get it, go and get it all by. And take you guys with me. Um, so, let's have some chat while we're on our way. Oh, this weather is miserable. And it's still freezing. Still struggling with my leg a little bit. Um, doing their best job. That's how I'm feeling at the minute. I don't feel like they're seeing people properly. Um, trying to get into and get an appointment is not happening. And everything's over the telephone at the minute, which some telephone consultations need to be, and, and they're quite easily done over the telephone, which is fine. Um, David got a, a nasty bite in the summer, and he just obviously sent a picture to the GP, and he was just prescribed antibiotics. I think that's a great step forward, not wasting people's time going into surgery. But when people have got certain complaints or need blood pressure checks, you can't just do things over the phone, which is excellent. I'm trying to actually get through the front door of a GP surgery is not happening in the minute. I even have my, some bloods taken in the car park. So this is not acceptable. I work in a hospital, you wear protective equipment, you guys should be doing the same and seeing everybody that needs to be seen. GP ran over. I mean they are, I want to say they're doing an amazing job but I don't think at the minute they are. They, they really need to start upping their game a little bit and letting people through the front door. They can have reduced clinics, yeah, reduced clinics, clean after everything, wear, P, wear PPE. There is no need for them to be like they are. And I understand they were scared initially and they didn't want to spread it around the clinic and around everyone else, but don't let people wait there. Wait in your car, phone them when you can come in for an appointment, meet them at the door, make sure they're wearing masks, make sure they're doing hand hygiene, and then we'd be good. Selection is incredible, and the sizes are just immense. I mean, great for parties, don't get me wrong. Why do I need all this cheese? Ooh, what are these though? Gourmet cookie dough. I've got a few people at home that like them. Classic vanilla cookie dough with dark chocolate chips. Ready to bake. They look very interesting. Might have to get me some of them. Let's see what else we can find. Oh my God. Look at that. Cooked octopus. No, I don't mind octopus. Oh, dollies. No. No, 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 no. It's a good job Dave and the kids haven't come with me because there is so much stuff in here that they would want. The trolley is full enough as it is. 
I don't normally buy this much stuff from here, just a few items, but I've got a few luxuries this week. Yeah, everything is just, I know it's a warehouse, but you don't have so big massive sizes of everything. Oh my. Look at that. box is massive. It's £8.39. Do I need it for that American hit? Not sure. Not sure I do. So I have finished at Costco. I'm just heading home. Um, yeah, I spent a lot more than I thought I was going to. Went in for some washing powder and spent £72. Yeah, I think I better do that shift tomorrow after all. Blouses, I can't believe it. Um, some of the things that I bought I didn't realise were that expensive. The apples used to be really cheap. Yeah, not so much now. Anyway, it's fine. Um, got quite a few bits. I also went to their cafe. Um, I got some takeaway pizza and hot dogs. So I am just driving home quickly to give it to the family. I, I didn't get myself anything. The hot dogs are really lovely and so it's the pizza and the jack and potatoes. Everything's really nice and really good value for money. But I just don't fancy it right now. So I'm going to head home. One thing that has happened, happened though is I suffer with the cold quite a lot because I've got um, hypothyroidism and for a while it's been fine because I've well, started off medication last year for it which is great and it, a lot of the symptoms that I had disappeared. But I do suffer with the cold a lot and if anyone knows me, especially everyone at work, even like my new colleagues know how cold I get and I get really cold really quickly. But the last two days, it's just got so bad. My fingers, just from being a bit of, had a little bit of cold on them, are pain, so painful from the cold. Like my fingertips are white. The camera probably doesn't even show it up, but my finger, the ends of my fingers are white and I can't actually feel them right now. I can't, I couldn't even use a couple of them, but if you use a few of them to touch the GoPro to switch the GoPro on, which is not great. Um, Caroline from Seashawn Vlog recommended some gloves that um, have been recommended to her because obviously she suffers a lot with the cold. So I think I'm going to have to invest in them because this is just awful. The pain in my fingers is just horrendous. And I can't actually feel the tips of my fingers at all. I've just lost all the other problems. Yeah. fingers have definitely warmed up and got better however they're still freezing um, but I'm feeling a little bit warmer now and I can actually feel them so which that's quite good so let's see what we bought at Costco so a shopping haul let's have a look so we bought some tin foil how exciting yay so this tin foil is amazing quality and it lasts a really long time we're, I don't actually need it just yet, but we are running low, so which is why we got this one. We got some of this lacto-free milk. I want to say it was about three pounds for the three of them, which is really good value considering in Tesco's, you pay at least two, at least two pounds something for just one each. The apples were an expensive buy, but anyone buys Pink Lady apples knows they know they are quite expensive in the shops anyway so yeah don't need to know the price i bought some of these some pomegranate and almonds with toasted pumpkin seeds cranberries and raisins i bought it from like yogurts and porridges i want to try and get away from having like honey or sugar on porridge and um, so i bought this instead um which i've been looking for for ages so i bought one of them 
these baguettes have become a staple in our house right now. And for all these, I know there's um, 16 of them, but this is pretty much the same price as um, a pack of four you get in Tesco's. So it's a no brainer with that one. We got some fairy, so six bottles of fairy. Um, it was about seven pounds for the six of them. It's slightly over a pound each, which I thought was really good value. Um, You'll probably leave a comment down below to say you can probably get it cheaper in B&M's, but they're massive bottles and it's good to have them in bulk. I've got some lovely mango slices. I hate chopping mango. I'm sorry. Actually, no, I'm not. I hate chopping mango. This was, it's not an impulse buy. We kind of get it every time we go, but it's amazing. So it's sticky toffee cake. You've got massive lumps of toffee there and it's only 3 dollars because obviously you don't pay VAT on it and the kids love it. They do a lemon drizzle version as well, which is amazing. Some bananas, which are really good value, not ripe yet. Obviously we will not be eating these yet. Well, that one's just turning, but they're dull, look. Dull bananas. Sorry guys, very much an impulse buy. So yeah, don't know when we're gonna be eating them, but 12 freshly baked cookies. And an impulse buy for Harry. I bought some American style hot dogs with the hot dog ones to go with them. So yeah, they look incredible. Had my breakfast, my porridge was really lovely. Um, dressed, had a shower, put a bit of makeup on. Look a little bit better, I think. Um, just gonna go to work. Um, my manager messaged me yesterday and asked me if I would go to work and support one of the junior members of the team and also the short of staff. So I am going in. Starting a little bit later than the normal late shift. Oh, sorry, I've got to take this hair. Um, starting at one and I finish at eight. So this is gonna be the end of the vlog for today. Um, talking about the GP yesterday, so I didn't film much in the afternoon. I was doing lots and lots of cleaning. The GP phoned me about half three, so quite prompt with the telephone consultation appointments, which was good. I wasn't hanging around for ages. I think a little bit before half three, to be honest, which was great. But the telephone consultation isn't the best, I don't think. I said, I think I said it before and I waffled on my rant about GPs in the car. 
You can't do a telephone consultation for a problem with a sore leg. You can't pinpoint and show them where they are. He said it's um, a muscle problem and the muscle he told me that it was, it's not even in the place that I described. So that's not great. Anyway, I've had two opinions now. I've Googled to Dr. Googled to my heart's content. Whatever it is, I just need to rest. That's what everyone has told me. I I think I'm trying to get a different opinion. Either I want it to be quite serious where I need to be immobilised or I just want it to get better. The main thing is I really want it just to get better and go away and everyone else has got the, it wrong. But all the advice I've read is stop running or stop doing the activity that caused it in the first place for a good four weeks. So that's where we're at at the minute. I'm trying not to run or I am not running. So I went out for a bike ride this morning, as you saw. Um, and I'm just trying to do some strength training on it and see how we go. It's not painful all the time. It's just aching and I, uh, there is a bruised area and I, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with it. It's definitely not the same place that it was after the marathon, but enough waffle. You don't need to know about that. Like I said, going to Aldi now, going to get a bottle of wine because I am having a girly chat tonight with my girls and I can't wait. It's been far too long to see them and it's going to be the end of this weekly vlog because tomorrow is saturday and the start of another one i think i've definitely gone on enough this week god knows what footage i've got what footage i haven't got anyway so thanks for watching guys don't forget to click that like and subscribe button i really appreciate your comments it really means the world that you're watching and um yeah i love to hear from you and i hope someone is watching out there take care have a good one bye